Here's K2EFG. I am in uh, the Belt Parkway. We're going to show how to build a YP3 antenna. I have my friend Michael here. Say hello. Hello. Okay, and we are building the YP3 antenna. Michael is going to be my photography assistant. What we started with is this uh, tripod, and now we have hello. Altaflia. Now we have uh, the main boom is uh, attached here, and we are going hello. to. Uh, and we're going to uh, now attach the rest. Yes. Here's the first uh, extension of the boom. You see, Hello. we put it in like this. Yes. And we're going to take additional boom. Michael is going to be the photographer, and I will be the. Um, yes, thank you. And I'm going to put it in. Thank you very much. Excellent. Thank you. And now we're going to uh, continue with uh, uh, creating the boom. Michael, you're going to be the, the photographer. This is the reflector portion. You can see that the director here, where my hand is, is uh, 71 inches from uh, the end of the reflector, which is the, the element over there. We're going to add another uh, uh, director element to the front of the antenna, which will be uh, at a distance of uh, at a distance of 64 and a half inches, which is just a single a single hole from here. So now we have the antenna ready to be put. There's 64 and a half inches from the driven element to the director, and then 71 inches from the, uh, the driven element to the reflector. Next, we're going to assemble the, uh, uh, the director, reflector, driven element in the appropriate length. Okay, length. at this point, Michael is completing uh, the uh, putting on the, the coils from the. Uh, oh, you have to extend this one, Michael. This, this one is backwards. This one is backwards. At this point, Michael is completing uh, putting on the coils on uh, the last uh, element. Uh, you can see that we have the spacing and we have uh, three uh, elements, a driven element uh, and the uh, driven element in the middle, the director and the reflector. One thing to remember is that the director is always much closer to the reflector. It's on that side of the reflector. So with that, we're going to now put the extensions that are going to uh, make the exact electrical uh, uh, distance, uh, electrical, electrical length that is required to run this antenna. At Michael 20. is installing um, the, 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 th the third and fourth segment. Uh, this segment here, the first segment in the driven element is uh, the constant length. Then we have 24 inches, then again 22 and a half inches in the third length, and then in the director element, these are uh, 22 and a half inches long for uh, 20 meter. And he's going to do that on the other side, and we're going to proceed with the directions for the rest of the YP3 antenna. So here is the antenna. The driven element is the middle element, and these two constructions are going through that. Um, uh, connector. This is the 20 meter tuner actually, which when it's extended all the way out is uh, mostly to the uh, right length. Uh, and here is the cable that will be uh, bringing in the power with a little bit of strain relief. Uh, this is uh, how it gets connected with this connector here like that. So here again is the 20 meter setup and we are uh, just about to uh, bring it up uh, for about 16 feet height on this tripod. Um, okay, we'll see how it all goes. All right, we're um, we're up and running in 20 meters. This is very nice, heading west southwest. I got my friend here. What's your call again? November Tango 2X-ray. November Tango 2X-ray ran into us, and here is the QTH. Uh, we're charging the batteries using uh, this charger here. And right now it's not charging, we just uh, finished charging. We had a few calls, we found uh, Italy, we also got uh, Whiskey 5, we're hearing Whiskey 7 pretty good. There's a couple of QSO parties going on, so uh, this is all good. Uh, here's a YP3 antenna up and running, uh, 20 meters, a guide, uh, the rain has stopped, the wind is going off. Tomorrow we're going to work off the buddy pole. And this is Kilo 2 Echo Foxtrot Golf from uh, uh, the Belt Parkway in Brooklyn is saying 7-3. Okay, this is Kilo 2 Echo Fox Road Golf. This is the captain's uh, log 
uh, addition supplement for today. This is Michael. He just woke up, Hi. and he helped me set up the antenna, yes. which is now facing uh, east, uh, northeast towards Europe. I got sugar papa stations in Poland. I got Italy stations like there's no tomorrow. Uh, I got one in Germany, a Deutschland, and a really very nice day afternoon in. Uh, Where are we? In the, yes, in the Belt Parkway. Uh, you can see the Belt Parkway, very nice. And uh, yes, you can get a Coke for yourself. And anyway, I just wanted to uh, let you all know this worked out very, very successful. Uh, here is something I've been doing. I have these two antennas, two uh, batteries, and I load this little one uh, for a while, and then I use the big one for a while. And when the big little one, the big one needs uh, uh, recharging, I just uh, switch them. It's really worked very well. I bought these antennas from Buddy Pole and it has worked really quite successfully. I get a very nice solid 13 watts, uh, 13 volts uh, and put output about 100 watts. Uh, the power pack uh, solar here from X Power is also charging very nicely. Right now it has my shadow on it, but it's charging very nicely. And the setup is all very successful. I'm very, very pleased. Conditions are starting to look good and uh, facing the driven elements to uh, east-northeast was a, a good idea. Uh, and I also turned it before to the west and had some uh, Whiskey 7 and Whiskey 5 station uh, pick me up. So uh, all together, a very successful afternoon. Kilo to Echo, Fox Road Golf, signing off from, from the um, Belt Park.